Dolphins running back Raheem Mostert was also fired yes. up yes. the way the <laughs> Panthers came out in game number one. Where did you watch and uh, what did you think about how the Cats played last night? Uh, unfortunately, you know, it was a, it was a way uh, game for the Panthers, but I was I was back at home on the couch. Just put my little boys to sleep and I was amped up and ready to go. <laughs> now, let me ask you, I, so we have the tape of you banging that drum at the Panthers game there. What's what's that like? I mean, what's that experience like? Because I've never had a chance to do that kind of thing. There it is. <laughs> but it looks like it's fun. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of fun, but uh, a little nerve wracking because they tell you uh, there's a guy right there that's explaining the whole rules and, and how to beat the drum. He's like, you got to beat it with all your might. And actually, I, I ended up <laughs> chipping the paint off the drum a little bit. <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was fun, though. <laughs> Uh, what's up, Raheem? This is Brian Boyle. I, I played a little bit uh, down in Florida during that. Oh, I know you, Brian. Tough, How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Look, I, uh, I also played in Jersey, and an assistant coach of mine was Mike Greer. He's a GM now in San Jose, and I know you might have had some tie, yeah. ties to that area. You also have some ties with your GM for the Dolphins. Do you guys still have some love? Are you guys still watching or talking about the Sharks at all with your, uh, with your GM, Chris Greer? You know, not not so much. I'm I'm locked in right now in the Panthers. Uh, All right. you know, this is Florida. Florida's my home base. Um, I was, I grew up in Daytona Beach, a little little surf spot, 15 minutes south of Daytona called New Smyrna. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 a big Panthers fan. Um, you know, and now that I've been able to come down here in Miami and and witness games in person, I, I love the Panthers, man. I love, I love the loyalty. Smart. I love uh, it. Smart, smart. Like, nah, man, yeah. I am Panthers all <laughs> the way. Boy. And I'm sure uh, Cats fans at home watching the show will be happy to yeah. hear you say uh, that. Yeah. Uh, so, Asis, who, who's your guy? Like, who's your favorite player on the squad? Who I know you probably know all of them or like all of them, but, like, whose game do you respect? Uh I like Duclair, you know, um, he's, he's a he's a speed guy, um, but also Montour is my guy. He uh, I had an event, a bowling event, you know, to give back to the youth and everything. And um, I didn't realize that he had showed up until I actually met him um, for the first time last year uh, during the season. And yeah, see, this is us right here, man. He was he was awesome, dude. So I've, I've always been admired him and, and he's on fire right now in the playoffs. Yeah. So big um, time. definitely a guy to watch out, too. So. Yeah, he, beast mode right he now. is. He is on fire right now. I mean, it just seems like every game he comes up with a big goal or a big play, so it's been rolling for him. I, I want to ask you, did did you get into hockey as a kid growing up in Florida, or did you get into it maybe as an older guy who just started to kind of beat your in professional sports yourself, and maybe you come across hockey guys? How did it, how did it happen for you? Yeah, so, of course, you know, hockey's not that big down here simply because you're in a warm state with Florida being, uh, you know, hot and everything. But, um, yeah, I, I grew up a fan. I grew up being a fan um, of certain players. Um, and then, you know, now that I got relations with San Jose and now, you know, the Panthers, it's just been it's just been awesome, man, mm -hmm. to be able to watch these guys going on skates, going 100 miles an hour, you know, with a, a puck and a stick. I, I, I just can't believe how, you know, they're able to control the, the puck, man. It's with a stick. It's, it's unbelievable. So I'm, I've been intrigued. For a little while now, some of us can't. Some of us can't really. <laughs> <laughs> have, you been on, have you been on the ice? Have they taken have you? Gone to the practice rink and skated at all? Have you been on the ice? I've been on the ice when I was when I was a little kid. Um, oh, you I used gotta to go, go back. ice skate. So, yeah, I gotta go back. So I'm I'm pretty good at, at skating and stuff like that. I used to I used to surf for it. So um, I'm 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 all acclimated to all different types of sports, especially with the nice. skates. You got the balance thing locked down then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we talk about Brandon Montour being your favorite player. Do your kids do your kids like hockey? You mentioned your kids putting your boys to bed. How old are they, and, and are they into sports? Yeah, so I got three boys. Uh, my oldest is three, uh, three, two, and ten months. And I bought my boys some hockey sticks and uh, uh, a little like foam ball that they uh, they could play Isn't it with. Is like mini and, sticks? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's mini sticks. Nice. And they and they look. Well, actually, I, I try to get one of my kids to be left-handed because, you know, I think left-handers in, in different sports are very dominant. So there, it, there's a pack that I bought from uh, Dick Sporting Goods, and it, the, the, both the sticks came with either a right stick or a left stick. So uh, my, my middle child's using the left stick right now. He loves it. <laughs> I, I love, I love my, oldest, my oldest throws left because I made him throw left. He writes right. He does everything right. He, and he throws left. Same? I just, same reason. Yeah, you guys are thinking <laughs> yeah, ahead. Smart. 
Yeah, you got to figure it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> As you're planning, you're planning ahead. You know, I watch you play in the NFL, and boy, you are a physical back. I mean, you you get the ball. You you're a battler in there. When you watch these guys play in hockey, I mean, like you know, a guy like Matthew Kachuk, he gets banged around and yeah. he just jumps back in the play. Is that something that like is exciting for you to watch as you as you keep an eye on the game because again football very very physical and you're a physical player yeah yeah no um it's definitely physical um on both sides you know with football but hockey man it's a whole different ball game i think that being on skates and and hitting the glass and and running through look at that like running through guys <laughs> getting back up and man that just honestly that that's that that excites you as a player you know so, I mean, because you, you want to return the favor, I guess you could say. <laughs> well, Matthew Kachuk doesn't seem to mind it. It seems the more he gets knocked around, he seems to yeah. just get more and more locked into the game. Yeah, yeah that yeah. guy's out of his mind. Uh, <laughs> can I switch gears here really quick? Uh -huh. yeah. What's You guys just had the draft, right? How, like, are the Patriots going to get back to, like, playoff? I mean, he's I'm, not worried about the Pats. I mean, he's got to play him twice. <laughs> I just want to know. Him beat him twice. I know he's gonna. You, right, you, you can beat him twice. Right now, I'm man. worried I mean, about you him, can't man. Worry about the Pats. <laughs> Look, you talking to a Dolphins player right now. You can't, I know. You can't do that. Well, who would know better? Come for him, Raheem. Come for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I see the Pats er, 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 two times a year, so yeah, and you beat him at home every year. Uh, yeah, exactly. I know, so but I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta, they gotta get back in the mix a little bit, right? Like, they're getting, are they getting better? I don't know. We'll see. Right. We'll see what they did in the draft, you know. But uh, I'm a I, I can only know. speak I'm... for my team. So. Hey, listen, his I team, know. his team already took the Bruins out, so they're not worried about the Pats. Now the football, they'll I'm take. I'm not a Bruins the... fan. I'm a Pats fan. Like, oh, I know. Well, you know, it's the way it goes. Well, like, I'm a fan of yours. I like guys who like the game. I can't wait to you guys take on the Pats so you can just yeah, stick it to them because I'm going right. to text Brian right away and be like, look at that. Yeah, he took it to your boys. We had a good run and now I'm like, <laughs> what am I supposed to I need inside info, but he doesn't have it. He's not going to tell me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not with that organization. You, <laughs> there you, go. Go. you know the game. Go. That's the arch nemesis. I know. <laughs> He's interrogating another guest. <laughs> well, Raheem, let, yeah, let me ask you about, <laughs> let me ask you about what's going on with you, team. with you and your squad. Where are you guys at right now? And how are you feeling about, about your team? Yeah. Yeah, no, we, uh, you know, we just had the draft. Uh, we, we ended up picking four guys. Um, you know, it was, it's awesome, man, to get these guys to come in and, and, you know, the young cast is all the unrestricted free agents and, and the, the younger guys, man, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. They got a lot to learn, but you know, we're all excited, man. We're working hard right now. It's a OSP's off season program for us right now. So, um, we're all just hanging out, going to hockey games, you know, yeah. um, Building that, building that camaraderie, and and a lot of guys actually are are truly invested in the Panthers right now. You know, not mon monetarily wise, but uh, you know, being at the games and showing up and giving them that support that they need. So. Yeah, you know, I saw I saw like at one of the games there was a bunch of the Dolphins there. You might have been in that group of players, and Game Three is coming up. I mean, the Panthers. I figure they're going to come home with a two nothing series lead. Stop it. Get to wrap it up. Imagine. So I mean, you must be excited. Oh. Are you going to be at Game Three? I'm going to be there. I'm going to try my best to be there. So They're going to get you a box, no? Yeah, I, so I know a couple people. I know <laughs> some people. Yeah, I, I, I can talk to you. So. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah. He'll, have the, he'll be in the good seat That's right. uh, for yeah. game number three out in Florida where they're trying to block Canadians uh, from That's getting right. in. So the Leafs fans can't, can't get it. out there. But uh, listen, we appreciate you hopping on and, and having some fun with us yeah. and bantering about the Florida Panthers, your team, and of course the Patriots as well. Sorry uh, about thank that. you so much <laughs> yeah. for that. I had to go. I took, listen, took a shot. <laughs> and good luck the rest it's of the right. way. It's all right. It's all right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go Dolphins. Go Dolphins. Yeah, they, hey, no, fins up. Fins up. Fins up. There you fins go. There I you go. I'm learning something every day. Yeah. There right. you go. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I appreciate you guys, man. This is awesome. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate thanks. the time. Uh, Enjoy Game Three and however many. Hey, when well, next round we'll get you back on to see who you got next. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. You, you can go. start being our cats' court. That's right. There you go. Great. I like right it. Great. Thanks, yeah. Raheem. Yeah.